it kind of reminds me of the little train that could. It's a small organization with a great big heart that does all kinds of great work in rural Alberta. I remember when I first started with RPAP, that would have been back in the early 2000s, the attraction retention work was just starting at that point. And it was so cool to go out to communities because there wasn't many committees in place and they were all keen on, oh yeah, we'd love to be more involved in making, you know, a significant impact or difference with our healthcare providers. So it was a, an interesting time to, to be involved with RPAP. And then going through to today, um, I just find it really interesting now when you go around Alberta, any organization that works rurally or has interest in rural issues, they seem to know about RPAP. Oh yeah, we know about RPAP and what you do in rural Alberta. So it, it's gone from this little tiny organization to something that's quite recognized by everyone. RPAP's made a difference by focusing consistently on rural Alberta and working with rural communities exclusively. And as a result, um, healthcare providers in rural Alberta really appreciate the support they get from RPAP because they see it as unique and only focused on, on smaller rural communities. And I think for committees as well, they just see that it's made a real difference um, in terms of what they can do to help support health providers in their own home communities. It never ceases to amaze me how committed and dedicated the staff at RPAP is. They're not just there for a job, they're there because they believe in what they're doing and what the organization is, is working to achieve. And having said that, I can never not say a special shout out to the Rural Community Consultant team. I mean, this is a group of people who live all across Alberta and work directly with attraction retention committees. They're so passionate about their work and so committed to these rural communities that they're engaged with.